Eureka! Man with a Camera. Starring Charles Bronson. I'm Mike Kovac. What I find exciting about being a freelance photographer is that quite often danger flies right into your lap. Like this girl Frederica Rojas did. An airplane, a daughter of a European millionaire, a sense of curiosity, and I was in trouble. Gentlemen, please. I think you've taken enough pictures of Miss Rojas. Yes, I agree. That's all the pictures for tonight. Dr. Kohlberg, is it true that Miss Rojas is here to shop for a trousseau? How long is she going to be in the States? And is Mila Rojas going to join her? I really couldn't say. But she is engaged, isn't she? I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. But I cannot answer any more questions. When we get settled, we'll call a press conference. A little courtesy, please. You must realize Miss Rojas is very tired after her long flight. Uh, this way, please. Are you all right, my dear? Have you taken a pill in the last hour? Good. Please, no more pictures. Well, I don't want this kind of a picture anyhow. My name is Mike Kovac, Dr. Kohlberg. How do you do? See, I want to do a series of pictures with Miss Rojas around New York City. I wired you and Lisbon about it. Oh, yes, but I'm afraid it's quite impossible. She might enjoy it. You know, first trip to America, maybe a shopping tour or just sightseeing. Please believe me, Mr. Kovac. It cannot be arranged. Many Americans are interested in her. Besides, she'd make a beautiful subject for a photographer. If you forward your request to our hotel, the Park Ritz, we will consider it. All right, I'll call you in the morning. Very well. Very persistent, these Americans. Oh, yes. Now, well, if you looked at the luggage, Friedrich and I would take the limousine. Friedrich? Where did she go? Mr. Kovac. You wish to take pictures of me, no? Well, sure, I want to take pictures of you. But what are you doing out here? I'll let you take those pictures. But first, you must do me a favor. Oh. No, please. Go ahead, I'm listening. Take me with you now. What? Look, I'll explain. Only not here. All right, my car's parked right over there in the lot. Come on. This is my car, Miss Rojas, so, uh... Whoa, wait a minute. Not so fast. Suppose you tell me what it's about first. Well, I want to see New York, Mr. Kovac, and I want to see it without supervision. All my life, I'm surrounded by people who watch me. Every hour of every day, they tell me what to do, who to see, what to say. Well, now, look. You're the daughter of Milo Rojas, mystery millionaire of York. I... I want only to be myself and to come and go freely. You know, I'm not sure I understand. Well, like any American girl, as I've read from your magazines, to uh, go to a movie, to see the sights. What would you propose for me? Coney Island, Times Square at night. Well, I'm beginning to see now. Can you do it, Mr. Kovac? Well, you tempt me, Miss Rojas. But you know, if you're missing for 24 hours, I don't care. You're just like I thought you'd be, too. The daughter of one of the richest men in the world, engaged to the second richest. And of course, you're spoiled. If you don't agree, Mr. Kovac, I'll go by myself. Hey, what's wrong? <laughs> I'm sorry I troubled you. Well, you sure know how to bait a hook. Then you, you'll do it? Well, I don't want to see you roam the streets alone, especially at night. I'll do it for 24 hours. Come on.
Already ten o'clock. We must find her, Wells. She was entrusted to our care. But where to look? She doesn't know anyone in New York. Her first trip here. Doctor, a man like Milo Rojas has many enemies. Abducted? We are diverted for a moment and she disappears. No, no. I don't think she has been abducted. Mm, perhaps amnesia. Perhaps. I must tell you, Wilts. In her condition, anything is possible. At any moment. You've seen her take these pills. They've been vital to her for the last three days. She has now only a 12-hour supply of them. Afternoon tomorrow, her life will be in grave danger. Well, I didn't realize that. Oh. Do you suppose that Miss Frederica does? Possibly more than I have told her. Then we have bungled, Doctor. Yes. And I guess the police will have to be called in after all. And her father must be told. His reaction will be most explosive. Give me the police, please. All units are missing adult. Last seen at International Airport at 9 p.m. Subject is a female Caucasian, age 26, height 5 feet 4, weight 110 pounds, dark hair and eyes, wearing gray tweed suit, named Frederica Rojas. intense about it, aren't you? But for another penny, I'll knock your block. No, I want to try everything. All the contraptions. Frederica? <laughs> you know, this really isn't the kind of a place that a gentleman brings a lady for entertainment. But I like it here. I want to be here. After all, there's only enjoyment in the moment, and life is only made up of moments, don't you think? Sure, sure. What are they eating? That's cotton candy. Cotton? Well, it looks like cotton, tastes like sugar. I want some. Oh, now, let's not overdo it. There's always tomorrow. No tomorrow. Only today. See, I told you, you're overdoing it. I'm only hungry. I'd like to try all your exotic American foods, like hot dogs and... Hot tamales and chili. Oh, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe we'd better build up your stomach lining first. <laughs> and besides, Frederica, it's uh, getting late. We ought to think about putting you up for the night. Sure you don't want to go back to your hotel? Uh, you got a problem. Oh, I know. You ever eat capusta? What's that? Well, that's, that's a peasant dish. We can get some on Elizabeth Street. Place called the Shea Kovac. Wonderful. A universal dish. You want some, Mikey? No, Pop. I stuffed myself before I went out to the airport. He always makes enough to last a week. Eat, eat, Messias. I like a woman who eats with uh, heartiness. A good appetite means a full life. I want to talk to you, Michael. You excuse us, please, Miss Rojas. She's a nice girl, my son. About time. It's nothing like that, Pump. Huh? Tell the old man, Michael. Huh? Now, Pump, she's got a problem, and I'm helping her out with it. It'll be over by tomorrow night. You don't have to worry about it. Trouble? No, it's hard to explain. Police? All right, Pop, I'll tell you. She's the daughter of Milo Rojas. Who is Milo Rojas? A Milo Rojas! Who is acquaintance to kings and prime ministers and has big business all over the world? The same. Now, how does the son of Anton Kovac come to the daughter of Milo Rojas? Well, the camera's my magic carpet. You know, this is her idea, Pop. 
For me, it adds up to an exclusive picture story. Oh, I see. But uh, for overnight, will she not be missed? She'll be missed, all right. But I'm beginning not to care, Pop. <laughs> Rojas disappeared about 9 o'clock last night. It is almost 2 o'clock today, and frankly, we are worried. The official reason given for Miss Rojas' visit to this city is that she was to shop for her trousseau. That was only partially true. Actually, and of extreme emergency, Miss Rojas is ill. She has glaucoma, a serious eye disease, and an iridectomy was to be performed on her eyes today by an American specialist. She's in grave danger of going blind, and worse, Forgive me if I sound melodramatic, but her life may also be in jeopardy. Is she aware of her condition? Aware, yes. It may even be the reason of her disappearance. I have prepared some type statements of her condition. Now, the police have been unsuccessful in locating Miss Rojas. We're asking for the cooperation of the press. Give it the full treatment. We must locate Miss Rojas. Are we going on radio and television with a direct appeal to her or to anyone who might know where she is? What about this 12-hour supply of pills mentioned here? She's subject to headaches, nausea, and dizziness, and they offer her temporary relief. Her supply is gone by now. She could have, literally, a blinding headache, a bad fall, even blindness. It is this we must avoid, and therefore asking for your cooperation. Have you contacted her father? Yes. Milo Rojas is flying in from Lisbon. Oh. Now we're doing everything that can be done, Dr. Colbert. We'll find her. Please, before it is too late. doesn't matter, they're only vitamins. Well, just like Americans, pills for everything. Sure. Frederica's fling was about over. The papers were carrying the news of her disappearance. And it was time we got away from the crowds, where she would soon be recognized. See that down there? Going across the river? Mm -hmm. That's the George Washington Bridge. And over there, all that over there is New Jersey. It's breathtaking. Your city is beautiful. Yeah, it has its beauty spots. But it's got its pock marks, too. In this place? It's just a nice, quiet place where you can hear yourself think. <sighs> Frederica, what are you running away from? Running? Well, come on now, aren't you? Mike, take me in your arms. Hold me close. Look, Frederica. You're a very nice person, Mike. Yeah, I'm also past that romper stage. And you're, uh, well, you just better take it easy, because it's hard for me to remember you're engaged. I don't care. There's only now. Now is followed by later. Could you love me, Mike? Now, you wait a minute. Somebody's got to keep their head here. You know, you're the daughter of Milo Rojas. I don't want to think about that now. 
And you get away from a place like this in the cold light of day, and I'm just Mike Colvay, a working stiff. It's just not in the cards. To you, I'm some sort of an escape, and I wish I knew what it was. Mike, for the first time in my life, this moment, and myself. Meaning you're away from the guy you're engaged to? Oh, he's older and a friend of my father, and it serves my father's purpose. I don't want to talk about that. Okay. But I just can't buy it, Frederica. You want to cram a whole lifetime into one little minute. For me, a lifetime is forever. <sighs> Maybe I can explain it a little better. You see, we're, we're worlds apart, you and me. And I'm the kid from the other side of the tracks. I'm... Oh, what's the use of rolling out all the old cliches? It just adds up to no go. Mike, fool me. Now, please, you're not going to pull that again, are you? That feigning doesn't work twice. Mike, please, listen. You always get what you want. If you can't buy it, you wheedle your way. If it's not money, it's charm. If a charm doesn't work, you decide to faint. You know what you are? You're spoiled. All right. I won't bother you anymore. The guided tour is over. You're darn right. Now, let's get out of here before we're both sorry. I'll take you back to your hotel. Glaucoma. You did not know this. Oh, no. I must be the only one in the city that didn't. After nine o'clock, who wants pictures? Now, I see who it is. Michael, some people to see you. We're here because your magazine called us about the pictures of Miss Rojas, which you submitted. Where is she? You're obviously the last person to see her. You know, I just learned about this. Sure, I saw her. I was with her. But I left her off at the hotel hours ago. She didn't arrive, Mr. Kovac. Please. Did you see her go into the hotel? Sure. Well, no, wait a minute. Uh, she got out of the car and then she ran off. Naturally, I thought that... You mean you don't know where she is now? Mr. Kovac, you're aware of Rodrigo's condition. Well, I am now. Would you accompany us, please? Where to? To the hotel. What for? Mila Rojas has just flown in. He would like to talk to you. All right, I'd like to meet him. This is Mike Kovac. We will wait outside. How much do you want for my daughter's return? I was afraid you were going to say something like that. Money solves everything. How much? I'm not a kidnapper, Mr. Rojas. Your daughter hasn't been kidnapped. She's running away. No wonder she's so confused with a father like you who puts a price tag on everything. It's not how does she feel, but how much to get her back. Well, you can't buy her welfare, Mr. Rojas. It hasn't worked so far. You've even destroyed her will to live. Did she tell you that? I figured it out and it won't cost you one red cent. This phony engagement of hers to suit some big deal of yours. Sure, you care for her, all right. She's a prize package, isn't she? And that's about all she is to you. I want her back before it is too late. Frederica means a great deal to me. You know, looking back, now I can understand why she's half out of her mind, rebelling against her illness and you at the possible cost of her life. She's trying to hurt you, Mr. Rojas, just as she's been hurt. You seem to have learned more about her in one day than I have in a lifetime. Well, let's just hope she's found before it's too late. 
The police are looking everywhere. Do you have an idea where she might be? Well, I've got a hunch. Where? I said it was just a hunch and no more. Now, am I free to go or am I to be held? Go and please, Mr. Kovac, find her. <laughs> Mr. Kovac, I too wish to thank you. You may be interested to know that she's no longer engaged to the Baron. Well, I'm sure glad for her. Yes, Frederica seems happy, Mr. Kovac. Happy with me and with a special sort of world she was born into. It is not easy for a man like me to say this, but Thanks to you, I have discarded a possession and discovered a daughter. What are your plans now? We'll return to the continent as soon as she's able. Magazine, Mike. You don't show the picture at the Vespers. No. I wanted to keep at least that. <laughs> it's time, darling. I'm sorry. Can't we get some? Oh, this is one I owe you. <laughs> 